Friday night hasn't had much to do but five points. So I'm uh, Greg High, number four, uh, player for the Perth Wildcats, uh, vice captain, play any position between the shooting guard, small forward, and the power forward at the moment. Greg loves being a part of the leadership group, so a lot of his is verbal communication. Uh, he's a passionate guy as well, so he'll do anything that's required to win. And he knows that in order to do that, he's got to make sure the other guys are switched on mentally and adhere to the team rules and concepts and more importantly, our team values. So he's a great guy to have around because, you know, even though he doesn't have the biggest role as far as playing time and putting points on the board, the, the value he has on the team overall is massive and that's from that leadership perspective. Yeah, more so. It's uh, been an ex it's a huge honour this year. Um, you're, we're voted amongst the peers, so the actual team actually votes among the leadership group. So to be uh, voted as a vice captain uh, for a team that I aspired always to play for is, is a tremendous honour, especially with the, the closeness I have with the guys. And more so, Damien Martin is one of my best mates, so to share uh, that role alongside him is huge. Um, and obviously to that more, more goals transpire to hopefully captain the team, which I have done so, and, and obviously lead on to, on to that. Yeah, definitely. Like anybody, he has his ups and downs. Um, some days, you know, he's a little bit tired or he's not training well and it might get to him a little bit. But overall, he's a very positive guy and a great guy to have around the group. And uh, whenever he is missed or out with injuries or sick, it's so he is sorely missed and you can see that positive influence is gone when he's not uh, training with us or playing. Oh, I think it's a combination of things. I think the biggest thing is you've got to have passion for it. Um, you obviously you spend so much time on the court and, and doing stuff off the court. If you don't have a love for the game, that's uh, first and foremost pretty important. I think you've also got to be pretty talented. You've got to have a natural talent for that to, to be able to get better. Um, and then the last thing, I guess, is professionalism. It's, a, it's my full-time job. It's my profession. I live and breathe it. Um, I go home. I'm constantly thinking about the game. So um, those three things, uh, I think, are, are massive. Yeah, no doubt about it. Be the championship wins. So to play a pretty pivotal role as well. Um, to play game three in front of the arena, um, in, a, in front of a sellout crowd, was was absolutely unreal. Um, so to finally get one. Um, you're etched in history, you're, uh, no matter what, if I retire tomorrow I've won a championship and I've t ticked that off and, and no one can take that away from you. To finally be able to do that it was, uh, it was an amazing feat and something I'll cherish forever. Funny, positive uh, and quirky.